KYC. Know your channel. Do you want this to happen to you? Wake up one morning to see this message on your channel? Of course not. So I will show you in this episode examples of what not to do and what to do to keep your channel safe. Let's go. KYC 1. The bait and switch. What's wrong with this channel behind me? At first glance, nothing. It's all about Agar.io. But look at the latest videos. No longer Agar.io. Let's play a clip. The channel owner decided to do framing. He's putting TV shows in a little box right here, trying to fool Content ID by adding other animations around it, hoping that he can get away with pirating TV content. Why did he do that? I think because he was only getting a few thousand views per episode with his Agar.io, he tried to shortcut his way to success by getting 23,000 views on the first video he uploaded with pirated television content. Why would you do this, guys? If you do, YouTube will catch you and terminate your channel. And of course, we will unlink you as soon as we discover this. KYC2, what's wrong with this channel? At first glance, it looks very legit. These are normal gameplay videos, some of which are getting millions of views. Look at the 7.3 million video. Here is the video. It's only 41 seconds. There is no audio. It's mute. And it's showing very normal gameplay. How did that video get 7.3 million views? And look, the comments are disabled. And there's some likes and dislikes, but very few given its view count. What we discovered was this video is embedded in a popular website where you have to click something to get something you want and it plays the video in the background as an embedded video that the person on this website doesn't even want to see. So all these views are fake views. Don't do this guys. I know it might seem exciting because you're making lots of money by cheating the system but the system will catch up with you and terminate your channel. And at the very least, we will unlink you. KYC 3, permissions. What's wrong with this channel? It's obviously a music promo channel with 172,000 subscribers. And are they doing this with permission? In fact, this is one of the channels that got terminated and we helped bring it back. They are doing music with permissions and that's how they got their channel back. Sometimes YouTube does not understand the context of a channel and they will take action like terminating it, but there is a dispute process which we will help you with if we believe your channel was terminated by mistake. And this is an example of one that did come back. KYC 4, repeated content without permission. What's wrong with this channel? This channel wasn't terminated, but it was suspended from the YouTube Partner Program. And all they do is loop songs for 1 to 10 hours. Now there are other channels that do long play relaxing music, but in this case the music wasn't used with permission as far as we can tell, and YouTube did think that it was an offense worth a YPP suspension, not termination. It still counts as an abuse event and it's something we don't want you to get because if your YPP suspended, you're automatically unlinked from whatever network you're part of and you're demonetized. And if you're not in a network, you're just demonetized. How many of you have had a YPP suspension happen to you? It's a new class of an abuse event before the only abuse event that mattered really was termination. But now demonetization and YPP suspension are tantamount to termination, meaning they're just as severe and they are just as punishing. Tell me your thoughts down there in the comments below. As you know, YouTube now has something called an MCN 50 count, which was leaked. And I mentioned that in yesterday's video. Click that I in case you missed it or my last video. And that basically puts a lot of pressure on every MCN to know every channel because now every time there is an abuse event, YPP suspension, demonetization, termination, it counts against one of these 50 that you have in a rolling 90 day window. Now that 50 count won't remain 50, it'll go down probably. So we have to do a much better job. We want to get to a zero count. Freedom. Our goal is to have zero abuse events, 
because we know each of our channels so well. Obviously, we're not there yet, but that is our goal. KYC5, tags in descriptions. What's wrong with this channel? I already told you. There are tags in the description. Let me show you an example. You see this? <laughs> Ignore extra tags. So what YouTube looks at is, is this spamming? Yes, it is. He's trying to get higher search results by putting extra keyword rich tags in his description, thinking he'll get more search results. Instead, what's going to happen is, once YouTube detects this, they will take action and either deprioritize his videos the other direction so they won't show up in search results or terminate his channel or suspend it or just demonetize it because this is an abuse guys the video description is not meant to be a place for extra tags and writing please ignore extra tags doesn't help so please don't do this in your video now you might think maybe that's just one of his videos but in fact it's all of his videos and here is another example of Please ignore the extra tags in the video description. The video description is meant to be a description of your video for humans to read. Use it for that purpose. If you try to use it for something else like this, YouTube will take action eventually. Now you may get lucky and nothing will happen to you. There's always the chance that you will get missed by YouTube's detection systems. They're not perfect. But don't play that game, guys. It's not worth the risk. Do things correctly and you will grow faster and have a safe channel. Would you like me to carry on this KYC series? Tell me down there in the comments below if you want to see more examples of channels that are doing good things, channels that are doing bad things, and channels that were recovered from doing what YouTube thought were bad things, but after YouTube learned the context that they are now doing good things. Click that eye to see the video where I really talk about YouTube context and I give other examples of channels that were terminated and brought back with our help. So in case that happens to your channel, you know what to do. So you prepare yourself for these events and you know how to solve them. That's our goal here at Freedom is to help you grow and to create new career paths in this digital world. In fact, we're playing with the new mission statement, if you remember. What do you think about this one? Here's the first mission statement I asked you about in the last video. Which do you prefer? Do you like a different statement? Tell me down there in the comments below. And I will start reading your comments again, guys. I will feature them in a future episode. So please keep leaving them. And I'm sorry for not featuring them in the latest episodes. It is now 11.20 p.m. on a Monday night local time. And I need to get to sleep because I have a long day tomorrow. That's part of the reason why I haven't been making videos regularly is my day runs away from me. When I get to making videos, it's usually this time or 3 a.m. in the morning. And re right now we're going through a negotiation with a game studio. And that is taking a lot of my time, which I would normally be spending making videos because this is an important deal that can help us get a professional team of game developers who've already launched two successful games and they're working on their third. So we want to help them, we want to work with them, and we're trying to come to terms on a term sheet. And if that works, then we'll move on to the due diligence phase and I can tell you more about all that if we get to the term sheet phase. All right, guys, as you can tell, my voice is getting a little hoarse. So I, I will say, who am I? <laughs> I'm Papa George, George Sunpai, Sleepy George. I am George, CEO and founder of Freedom. I don't have my Freedom shirt or my Freedom logo, but I think you know what, who we are by now. For Freedom and the Freedom family. 
and MGN Studios, the game development division of Freedom Family. And click that eye to meet the head of MGN Studios, Dave Frakia, who tells you what game, what MGN Studios is about and how, what you can expect from us and how you can contribute. Till the next episode, I'm George. You've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.